Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been a hot minute since I did a topic study. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, this is a topic study on pride. And before we begin, please make sure to like and subscribe. And let's get it right in. If you are newer and don't know what a topic study is, it's basically where I break down um, a topic and what the Bible says about said topic. I have a bunch of other ones on this channel. I have a whole playlist. I've done topics like jealousy and friendship and modesty and so many more if you want to go check them out. The definition of pride is self-respect or improper and excessive self-esteem known as ignorance or in simpler terms, high opinion of oneself or one's own importance that will eventually lead to a self-centered and arrogant attitude. According to OpenTheBible.org, pride produces a hypocritical spirit. The Pharisees' hypocritical pride blinded them from their own sin and God's mercies, which made them cold-hearted and cruel towards others. In case you didn't know, pride is pretty much the root of all sin and was actually the first sin with Eve, as in Adam and Eve, from the book of Genesis. She ate the fruit that God told them not to eat because she wanted to acquire the power that the devil said that would come with eating the fruit, therefore separating us from God because of our sin. To make it clear how much the Lord does not like pride, I'm going to read some Bible verses. Proverbs 11:2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace, but with the humble is wisdom. Proverbs 16:18. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. And James 4:6. But he gives more grace, therefore it says, God opposes the proud and gives grace to the humble. I'm sure we've all felt prideful before. It is a very natural human emotion. So I'm going to tell you some ways to get out of a prideful state of mind. The best way to get out of a prideful state of mind is to humble yourself. And I'm going to tell you some ways to humble yourself according to the Bible. Number one is serve others. Matthew 20, 28 says, even as the Son of Man came not to serve, but not to be served, but to serve, and give his life as a ransom for many. Even Jesus Christ, who was better than everyone and easily could have been served because he was the most perfect man ever walked the earth, came to serve others. Number two, pray for a humble heart. Pray and ask the Lord to humble you and reveal how pride is getting in the way of your relationships and your life. Number three, remember who is in charge. If we don't remember that the Lord is in charge, it is easy to put things out of perspective and become very prideful. And that's why it's also really important to reflect daily on all the things the Lord has done for you. Number four, focus on your own faults than the faults of others. Recognize your own faults. Repent and move on. Don't obsess over them. Um, it's like, I don't remember the exact verse, but focus. don't focus on the speck in the other person's eye when you have a plank in your own eye. That's gonna be the end of this video. I hope it was informative and it helped you even though it was such a short video. Um, just some reminders before this video ends, make sure to follow my Pinterest and my new Instagram. Um, they are on the screen and they'll be in the description of this video. Make sure to like and subscribe and I love you all so, so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day or night. And bye. Love you guys.